Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Noob Gaming. Before we start our video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon so that you can never miss any upcoming video.
parts for Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. <laughs> Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Hey, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Go ahead. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. You'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves. They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So I decided to set the trap. So you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least I, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! 
No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. <laughs> Can try it. Don't try harder, will ya? Piece of shit. The f I need back over here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
something funky yeah. going on. Okay. Okay. When the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Keep it quiet around here, please. No, I cannot take you there. We're in the middle of school right now. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student, he wants... Any... Hist... Yet can't... Don't you have things to do? Move along, please. Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Now keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened.
five years of learning. <clears throat> Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then, near the wall. <clears throat> you look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But... Getting to him is another story. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password, Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. 